The allergy epidemic is certainly on the rise. It can really impact quality of life for the whole family, not just the patient. But we hope that we are going to see it slow down. For example, one thing that has been recently recognized is that early introduction of peanut into a child's diet may prevent the development of peanut allergy. My name is Aaron Kobernick. My specialty is allergy and immunology. My name is Gina Ryan. I'm a physician assistant here in the allergy clinic. And I also have a daughter that has a peanut allergy that is a patient here. The idea with oral immunotherapy is that we give the child peanut by ducking underneath that threshold dose for reactivity. So we give such a minuscule dose that they don't react. And every two weeks, we very slowly increase that dose and very slowly allow the immune system to recognize that peanut protein that once was allergenic and would cause an immune response. If we keep doing it over time, we have really good success in terms of our ability to make children who are peanut allergic able to tolerate the equivalent of a couple peanuts. So in the event of an accidental exposure, we would very likely not see a reaction. So oral immunotherapy, the treatment, it's a lot of work. But for us as a family, it's been worth it in the sense that I know my daughter's gonna go into grade school next year and she's gonna go to lunch and she's gonna be exposed to peanuts. And I know a lot of families homeschool their kids because of the risk for anaphylaxis. But with oral immunotherapy, I know that her risk is reduced. For parents of children with allergic disease, whether that's asthma, whether that's food allergy, this is not something you need to live in fear of. This is something that we can help you manage. We really want to improve the quality of life for our patients, and we want them to have a very positive experience when they're here with us. Everyone has the same mission and is laser focused on making the care as positive and as wonderful and as robust as it can be.